Hello everyone, I'm Port Sanger 7 and welcome to another Never Have I Ever Played. So, today I have played for the first time Payday 2. I've never played this game before, I didn't even play the first one. It came out around 2013 and I saw this on the Xbox Game Pass and I thought it looked kind of interesting to try out for the first time. So, to say the least, it was not what I expected. Uh, based on what I saw from the game, I thought I was going to do like something similar to GTA, but you're like, you know, part of a criminal group, and you would be doing heists and stuff, and there would be some kind of linear storyline. From what I got, the game does take place after the first, the events of the first game. About a crew of 20-ish members head to the Washington metropolitan area, and you play a, I guess, a first-time recruit, that you're getting recruited into the crew, and they wipe your plate on the sink slate clean for you my bad <laughs> stumbled over my words real quick now from what i played from the game it was kind of fun but uh i did two contracts the first one was ridiculous and the second one was annoying <laughs> i found that the game was definitely different from what i believed the game was getting me um for the first part you actually at the beginning you play um i guess your initiation you end up killing a security guard uh, sneaking into somewhere, stealing something, and then you head to your safe house. There you go. That was the first part. And then from there, you pick different um, contracts to do. So I went ahead and picked a bank heist. I guess it was it was a bank. Yeah, it was a bank. It was a bank. You're stealing gold. And to be honest, it, it was kind of fun at first, but I, I decided to play it by myself. Uh, with the AI companion handed me because I didn't want to do multiplayer at first and it, it was going fine It was too easy because the difficulty was on what normal or easy. I don't know. It was ridiculous though that <laughs> uh, When you're firing at the AI, I, I honestly I went completely wrong in it at points that I had no idea what I was doing I was shooting at the cops and I was like, oh dear. I, I honestly there was a, probably a way to sneak in if you were a higher level and had more equipment, you could probably sneak in, get in, break into the vault, get the gold, and leave. We had to use a, uh, a drill to go through the bank vault, and then a drill to get through the gate in the bank vault just to get to the gold. And it took forever to drill. It was like a good, what, 10 minutes of drilling, and then 5 minutes for the gate, and then then you leave. It, was, it wasn't hard, and the cops honestly, bam, one shot, one shot, one shot, everything. Felt a little bad shooting at cops, so that made me like, uh. But I was, but I honestly, I think the game would have been better if it had maybe a story style similar to GTA or free roam style. Like when, when you're not doing contracts, you can just travel around and check out the different areas of the city and stuff like that. The contracts are good though. I would say the different heights and if you're playing with friends, maybe if you, um, I really wouldn't recommend this game unless you maybe want to like maybe role play it or whatnot with other people. You know, pretend you're in a criminal mastermind, earn rewards, or trying to compete with your friends. I mean, that see who can win. I mean, I guess in a competitive sense, it's good. But overall, I didn't find it exciting of a game. The story was more based around just doing contracts, 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 progressing your days in the safe house and other stuff. And, wasn't fun to me. If it had something similar to what GTA had, I would, G yeah, like GTA, it would definitely have been far more interesting. Um, but I think it does have a good, I think replay value wise, I think it's good enough for those who want to compete with other players. Its progression system's not bad. I ranked up five levels just from that one mission. The second mission I did was another heist, but I do with other players, and honestly, that was chaotic and annoying. Because everyone's just running around shooting people, and that's... You know, the game's old. It's been out for a long time. I got with... Surprised that I got with an anyone randomly in a public join in, so... <sighs> Let's see. I would have to say that if I was... I would not recommend this. Mostly because it just wasn't, it wasn't exciting of a game. Now I know I've already said I wouldn't recommend it multiplayer wise, unless you want to be with friends. But playing by yourself and to play through it, I didn't see it. I didn't even see much of a story going on. 
I guess you can upgrade your safe house, you can upgrade other things, and, you know, make it through this and that, and, you know, just get through the game, but overall, it wasn't exciting. I thought it would have been far more exciting. A linear storyline with contracts being part of help your progression, or as part of the story progression, would have been better. I just didn't see the replay value in it. I could go back to the warehouse, I could walk around, I could do whatever, but other than that, there was not much to do. So overall, I, I, I wouldn't recommend, I wouldn't play it again. If I, I would recommend maybe just playing the heist for the fun of it and seeing um, what the different heists, because there's like Christmas heists and different themed heists, I believe. So I think that would be, or contracts. Contracts? Yeah, they call them contracts. I guess those are worth trying out at least one time each. And trying out the, at least the DLC contracts. Since it's on Game Pass, you can play the DLC contracts. Trying them out. See how it is. But overall, didn't really enjoy it. Don't recommend it. But, uh, I guess that's really all I have to say about this game. It just wasn't exciting. I, 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 I think I would have a better appreciation of this game if I had played the first one. But since I only just played the second one... I honestly kind of had a ne more negative impression of it. If I played the first one and maybe had fun with that, and then I went into this one, I probably would have enjoyed it a bit more. So that is it for today's Never Have I Ever Played. This was very short today. There's not much to tell about this game. I mean, you just go in, you shoot some people. I mean, I will say this. Uh, you know what? I'll say this real quick. It was interesting that when you have to do the stealth portion at the beginning... Uh, you can kill someone and put them in a body bag and then throw them in a dumpster. I was like, gosh dang, you just committed murder and hit the body. I was like, and, the, and you just like, you took this like six foot tall dude and crunched him up in a body bag that's like smaller than three feet. How did you do that? There's some weird stuff in the game. So I, I, I there are aspects that are interesting, I would say. So at least this would be someone, you know, people who have I guess appreciate doing these different heist games and stuff like that and have more of the multiplayer aspect than anything. I think that would be more enjoyable than to me. No. I'm more on a linear storyline based game. And just doing these if these contracts were side missions and I can go back for replay value only, just to level up, get cash, blah blah blah. Then yeah, you know, I would enjoy it a bit more. But overall, I wouldn't recommend and I would say try it out for yourself, see what you want, if you like it or not, since it is free, or it's not free, it's on Xbox Live Game Pass. Just try it out for yourself, see what you like. I wouldn't play it. If you guys like it, that's your, uh, that's what you like. So, I'm Porter Sign 7, I hope you enjoyed this video today. And please leave a like down below, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel to be notified whenever a new video comes out. Also, we also have a Discord link down below, and if you want to join our Discord, you can. We have a nice little community um, growing. We're, our um, channel is slowly growing, and we hope to get larger and bigger and ha um, enjoy more time with our community members. So I hope you all enjoyed today's video. It's not as straightforward of a never have I ever played before, because the game was a bit confusing to me. But overall, it was okay, but I would not recommend it. So I hope you all enjoyed. Thank you, and have a great day.